Oh my god. Ding dong bing bong. What is up my scrubs? Welcome to, well, first of all, welcome to a new channel. I wanted to create this channel for games like this because I know that on my, you know, regular channel, we play a lot of variety games. I thought it would be a lot better to have a channel dedicated to visual novel games and, you know, Japanese sort of type games. That way I can be more consistent without having to really stress about my views on my regular channel. But either way, welcome finally to Project Eden's Garden. You guys can go download this right now if you want, I'm sure. But I'm literally playing this a day before. I miss Danganronpa. And I, this obviously, it's a fan game. It is not Danganronpa. It's not affiliated uh, with uh, Danganronpa in any way. And, uh, but it's gonna give us that taste. Mm. I'm really excited for this. Shout out to the lead artist of the game, by the way. Look at this. This is amazing. You're making me want to uh, bring the green back. I just might. Shout out to Green Tell. This is like so amazing. I really appreciate this. All right. This is the prologue. Let's freaking start this. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude. Okay. Logic. Mean. I want it all mean. Give me some mean. I like a challenge. Ooh, I'm excited. I am so excited. It's been so long since we played a Danganronpa game. Again, not Danganronpa. <laughs> Life has no real meaning. We exist just by chance, born to a planet that didn't want us to begin with. It's up to the best of humanity to give the world a, a purpose. People like me. Those who shine brighter than the others, who have an influence on our greater society. Ultimates. We're known as ultimates. You know we're the ultimate intuition. Ooh, and I get to use it again. Oh, I can't wait for some more ding dong bing bongs. Yeah, guys, I hope you subscribe because uh, I, whatever the full game comes out, you know, more chapters. I don't know if they're gonna release in chapters, but I'll definitely like play them if they do. Oh, damn, we got the arts already. This is a very impressive. Ultimate titles are awarded to exceptionally talented high school and college students. Doctors who can cure the incurable. Engineers who build machines to improve millions of lives. The most influential politicians, the most creative architects. These are the people who deserve lifelong recognition, who define what it means to be a true ultimate. I, Damon Maitsu, am the ultimate debater. Oh, he's gonna debate? Okay. A prodigy among prodigies, someone who simply can't be outmatched. I hold on to my title dearly, because it defines me. It's who I am. It's what gives me my purpose. This voice sounds familiar for some reason. It probably isn't, but... <laughs> Among a sea of mediocrity, I am a shining example of talent. Okay, show off. I have a feeling this guy's gonna get a reality check, probably. And Maybe. Now, there's a school worthy of me. Mr. Daim Damon Maitsu, the ultimate debater. Congratulations for your contribution as an ultimate. We cordially invite you to attend Eden's Garden Academy, a specialized college for academic-based talents. We're just gonna need those silly little three digits on the back of your credit card. All dangin' rampant fans. <laughs> I love that video. At our unique academy, you will not only develop a tighter grasp on your respective skill set, but you and the other ultimate students who receive this invitation will gain an ever important proficiency at leadership, communication, and persuasion. In an age where anyone could be called the ultimate, we hope you will join us and assume your rightful place as the true face of talent. Please keep the contents of this invitation as well as the attached registration materials strictly confidential. The integrity of our program is built on the foundation of privacy. Oh, dang. Okay, we got the school. Can I... Can I hide? Uh, was it Q? I don't know. There's usually a way to hide the text. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to do that. Maybe there's not. Or maybe I just don't know. Oh, I think... I don't know if I skipped something. It was built in par partnership with the Ultimate Talent Program, a government institution that was awarded ultimate titles to people for almost the last century. You don't apply for the UTP school, they scout for their students, which is how I found myself receiving a letter from Eden's Garden Academy. It looks to be an amazing school, immaculate architecture, incredible work uh, spaces, and access, access to resources beyond anything I've ever seen. Everything about the school is perfect, it's truly worthy of being called ultimate. In my 18 years of living, I have accomplished more than most people could ever dream of. Within this random and chaotic existence, it feels like I was destined to be great. Oh, dang. Yeah, I remember this from the trailer. After what seemed like hours of waiting, the train arrived before me. It wasn't as nice looking as I expected, at least not for a school of this caliber, but it was undeniably the one. 
With luggage in one hand and a pamphlet in the other, I boarded the train. This is the start of my new life. The start of an even greater career. I want to hide the text really bad. For the first time in my life, I'll finally be among the people as great as me. I just want to say, no, you're wrong. Oh, there's a history. There's a history button. That's cool. I'm sure there's a hide text button somewhere. I'll find it eventually. Huh? Look. Oh, this is... Someone else is here. Dang, this voice acting is good. Yeah, I, you know, I couldn't really, like, from the trailer, yeah, no, it sounds better than the trailer did, I think. Huh? Someone else? Hey, hey, welcome to the Eden's Club. Oh, <laughs> we have our, uh, uh, it seems like a, maybe a Miyu type character. Miyu, right? Was Miyu the one, the, the blonde hair girl? It's been, it's been, it's been quite a while, okay? Like, it's hard for me to remember everyone's names. Okay, so we got, like, a pretty boy over here. We got, like, a smart looking guy over here, Brawny. There's always gotta be a buff one, right? And then we know some of these. One of them is the ultimate gamer influencer. Okay, yeah, I was right. Miu. I had to look it up. Well, it's more accurate to say Eden's Garden Academy's club, but Eden's club just has more of a ring to it, don't you think? Sure. In front of me, spread across uh, the train carriage, was a group of strange-looking people. A girl with pink hair, some guy in a wolf costume, one guy in a weird beanie staring intensely at me. What the heck? There ain't no heck passes in here, okay? Are these the creepy people really attending the same academy as me? Apathetic to my situation, the train continued from its halt. Looks like I'm stuck here for now. I guess I should find somewhere to sit. Hey, you! New guy! Over here! Bruh, look at the qua- This is so crazy! It's just so impressive what they've done! Hello, can you hear me? I think I, I think he said that. I seem to have caught the attention of one of the other passengers. Alright, we got this freaking dude looks like he's from BTS. Cool, so uh, I was wondering something. Uh, whatever it is, I'm sure you can ask an employee. I'm honestly not in the mood. Sure. Frowning and dropping his head, he walked away. Excuse me, but uh, you don't happen to know when the final stop is, do you? A girl's voice suddenly chimed in from behind me. Jeez, can people just leave me alone for five minutes? No, we have to meet 50 characters right now, okay? That was the one thing that, like... I, I grew to like it in Danganronpa because like Oh my god, I just realized he got the Aho gay. I didn't even notice that before. Yeah, I, in the first game I was like, oh my god, this is awful. But like, you know, the second and third game, I'm like, you know, I'm actually I look forward to it. Not a clue, but you can try looking for her. The words got caught in my throat when I turned to look at her. Oh dang. We got Sakura's freaking cousin over here. This woman had to be twice my size. Uh is something wrong? I <laughs> Uh, don't fret it, darling. I'll just see uh, who else is around. With a small wave, uh, she walked away. Uh, the people here are just getting weirder and weirder. I really hope none of them are in my class. They're all going to be in your class. Not wanting to be bothered any further, I quickly found myself uh, a seat by the window. Yeah, you're the main character. you got to sit next to the window of some sort all the time. I really wish you could hide text. Maybe that's not an option yet. Mountains framed by a deep blue sky, crystal clear rivers that sparkle like jewels in the sunlight. It couldn't be a, a more radical departure from home. Scenery continued to pass, time flying by with it. The shadow from the others in the train eventually softened, leaving just me and the rolling mountains. Sniff? <laughs> Nearby a woman in professional attire turned her nose up to the air and started sniffing. After a moment, the expression in her face turned stone cold serious. The air doesn't smell right. Oh my god, she can literally sniff out crime. I'm tell I'm calling it right now. Tell me right now she ain't gonna sniff out a murder. Oi! Oi! <laughs> Oi! The air? Black. Hey, I smell something too. What is Okay, I think this may be the influencer, but I'm not exactly sure. Excuse me. Could you describe it? Hmm, hmm kinda chemically. It's almost like it's coming from what? That bag over there. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's already starting. She pointed to the travel bag at the opposite end of the car. Oh, shoot. You mean this one right next to me? I don't smell anything funky. Well, that's probably because of the helmet. That's the drag racer. I don't... Yeah, I don't know who this is, though. Is that your bag? Nope. It was already here when I got off the train. Or on the train. Hmm, that's weird. There's no name tag on it or anything. After inspecting that, inspecting the outside of the bag, he began fiddling with this lock. Cool. You got it open. That wasn't the lock. What the heck? Are you okay? No. Yeah, bro, I'm all good. I just felt kind of... Oh, okay. Christ almighty! Christ almighty! Shit. Did he just pass out? Oh, uh, it's me! Who is this? Who is this person? From the same end of the car, the guy who had been staring at me earlier. I'm not feeling so good either. Hang on. Wait, what did you say? Good night. What the... 
Ah, people are dropping like flies. Holy. Oh crap, someone get help. For real? Let me try to alert the conductor or whatever. She ran over to the door that connects to the adjacent car. Oh crap. It's not opening. Why is it opening? Did you say? Oh crap. Stand back. I want to try my hand at it. Can you step aside for a sec? Yeah, he yanked the door, but bad news. Dang, the car is locked up as tight as a prison. Come off the grass. Uh, but I left to take a piss like an hour ago. Uh, let me try something else. The big man rolled his shoulders and threw himself against the door with all of his might. He groaned and stepped back, revealing he hadn't even left a, a mark on the door. Uh, what? That did nothing. Uh, there's uh, another boy who's fallen. A girl, too. Why is everyone passing out? Maybe it's got something to do with that bag we... Ah, the air around me had grown thick with a strange, pungent smell. I could taste it. It felt a sting in my eyes. Oh, God, no. Don't! As a futile plea left my lips, I felt my strength trail away with it. The world flickered around me, and then... Nothing. Hey, I guessed it. Dude! I love it. I love it already. I'm so interested. Like, this is like... It's like the best Christmas present. Like, I've been asking for more Danganronpa. I've been just hoping... Like, I know that the creators are releasing another really cool like, game, and I do want to check that out. Probably check that out on this channel, too. But, man, this is, like, perfect. I mean, obviously, I'm a fan, but we can't speak too soon, right? We, we need to see, is the story going to be good? How is it going to play out? We don't really know yet. But I still... But I like, I like what I see so far. Huh? What is that humming noise? It almost sounded like an air conditioner. But if it's an air con... Wait, why am I so warm? I weakly opened my eyes. Above me was a concrete ceiling. Concrete ceiling? My body's so heavy, but I have to get on my feet. I had to see where I was. Oh, snap. Huh? It's a girl. Bro, I'm just blown away. I really am. This quality is like seriously like... Like this does not look fan made. Honestly. Could it be that she's... No, she's still breathing. She, uh, so she's asleep just as I was. Kneeling down to her level, I reached out my hand to shake her. Hey, can you hear me? No response. Bringing my face closer to hers, I repeated the question. Can you hear me? Why is... Oh, I should... <laughs> hey, can you hear me? <laughs> who, who, who does that remind you of? Why isn't she waking up? Dang it. Do I actually have to... Holy! Oh my god! Her eyes snapped up and caused me to jump back. She wasn't on the train, was she? Okay. This is definitely a Kyoko type character, if I'm if I ever call it. First of all, she looks smart. She looks like she appears to be wearing a student council jacket. I'm just saying, we might have ourselves a Kyoko Kirigiri. That's obviously not Kyoko, but like that type of character, maybe. I was just testing you, testing me, to see what you would do. It's not every day you find your body on the floor, or a body on the floor. So you were awake the whole time. I woke up before you. Yes. Uh, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> she just pretend you're dead. Uh, she just let me sleep. Anyways, uh, how long was I out for? Sure. I don't know. I didn't wake up that long ago. When I first came to, I was also starting startled to see a stranger. See? One can never know if they're in the presence of a friend or foe, mm -hmm. which is why I needed to see for myself how much I could trust you by lying on the floor and making herself vulnerable. Jesus, she makes no sense. That's what I said. As an excuse to break off the conversation, I started to look around the room. It was definitely some kind of boiler room, but there didn't seem to be a light switch anywhere. The only light came from a vent set far back in the room. Looking at my close surroundings, I was uh, standing on a platform with stairs that led down to the rest of the room. The lower floor was mildly flooded. I'd say the water reached a little above my ankles. It was a place that had clearly been abandoned for a long time. Even with all the strange uh, things around me, my gaze kept returning to this girl. There's something about her that seemed almost familiar. Oh, okay. Might be one of those stories. Wait, that's it. <laughs> that's it. She was on the train I boarded. I didn't notice her personally. Hey, we've met before on that train. Yeah. Uh, things turned upside down not long after you arrived. A strange smell started to come from that travel bag and then everything turned black. Right. Uh, just what the heck was Listen that? Listen to me. I think it was a chemical agent. The bag must have been equipped with the gas bomb or something. Something clearly wanted to knock us out. All I know is that one of these characters are sus. They're very sus. Someone is, is definitely evil always and is going to betray us. We just got to figure out which one that is. Sounds like she's been thinking hard about it. Maybe that's why it took her so long I to see. wake me up. Sure, I was thinking the same uh, thing, but whose bag was it? Why did they want to knock us out? And why aren't we on the train anymore? Where are we? Look at this. Considering our surroundings, uh, some sort of boiler room? As she raised a hand to push her up her glasses, something large and metallic on her wrist caught my eye. A watch? It looked vaguely uh. like a watch. Uh, what's on your hand? Well? 
You tell me. It appears like you have one as well. Oh my god. Huh? huh? At those words, I looked down at my hands. Uh-oh. Sure enough, I was wearing the same device. It's been fitted tightly around my wrist, but it felt like I was wearing nothing at all. I'm not wearing this. As I grabbed a hold of the device, I pulled a tiny surge of electricity ran through my wrist. Ooh, they can't take it off. This ain't the first time I've dealt with this before. A lot of you guys have asked me to play like the uh, Virtue Escape games. Is it Virtue? No, the Nonary games. Yeah, the Nonary games. I've played all of those and like they had watches as well. So that's what that reminds you of. But this is a little bit different. It shocks you. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, what's going on here? Why am I wearing this weird shock color thing? Who put this on me? Look. You can touch the screen though. Oh, see like this. She tapped the face of the device. It slowly lit up and displayed a holographic image. Hmm. Oh, like a watch. Correct. It's just like a uh, projecting a blank screen for some so, reason. Either way, it seems like we're stuck with this device for the time being. Moving on. While you're standing there, the least you could do is give me your name. We didn't have much of a meeting on the train anyway. <coughs> uh, Damon Maitu, uh, ultimate debater. I'm a student at Eden's Garden Academy. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, what mm -hmm. is? Thank you for telling me more than I asked for. As for myself, you may call me Eva Tsunaka. Okay, Eva. It's, uh, it's nice to meet you. I'm sure it is. The pain from the shock was uh, finally subsiding. It's as good as a time as to get a better grasp of the room. Maybe there's something in here that could explain the flooding or even better, that annoying mechanical noise. Welcome to Project Eden Gar Eden Eden's Garden. God, I can't talk. A lot has happened already. I'm sure you're eager to investigate, but there are some things you should get acquainted with first. To access the trinket, or as Damon so collo colloquially put it, the watch, simply press the F1 key. To view past dialogue, press F2 key. I figured that one out. And to go into observation mode, press the enter key. Oh. And use the WSC to, play, to pan around the room. If you ever need to revisit the information, check out the control panel or just press F3. All right. So now we get to explore. Wow. That's looking crazy, dude. Look at this menu. Man, you guys are crazy talented. This is like, this is crazy. But I, I think this has been in development for a while, right? Like, at least a few years, if I'm not mistaken. Probably longer. Who knows? All right, I guess we'll save. Okay, so I press enter. Oh. Boxes. <laughs> well, I saw those. There might, be, there might be something useful in this pile of dusty boxes. Light bulbs, duct tape, a bunch of screws. Nope, there's nothing in here but junk. All right, generator. There's a generator under the vent. Is this what's making the mechanical noise? Seeing it in the water put me on, a bit on edge. I was thinking of checking out the window above it, but now I'm not so sure. Oh, it was, it's in, oh, it's in water. I didn't even notice the water. All right, let's look again. Okay, we have a camera. And starting, uh, staring in front of me in the corner of the room was an expensive looking security camera. Had this been recently installed, it seemed like better suited for a vault than a crappy, crappy boiler room. You notice that camera yeah. too? Yeah, it's really out of place. Do you really think someone is watching us through it? Of course they are. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like it's turned on, so I doubt it. I see, perhaps that's for the best. What do you mean? If someone is watching us, it's possible they are the same person who put these wrist straps on us. She makes a decent point. That seems to be it. The room's uh, too run down for me to investigate anything else. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Eva approach the pile of boxes and fish out a light bulb. And then without hesitation, she checked it into the water. Why? Hmm. All of a sudden, she jumped off the platform we were standing on into the water. Oh, she was, was she about to see if it was going to turn on? To see if the water was uh, uh, gonna electrocute them. That's actually really smart, I think. I mean, I don't know. I'm not Mythbusters. I don't know if that would work, but that sounds smart to me. And that's enough for my brain. The hell? What are you doing? Can't you see? Exploring. We're not. You're not worried about the Look. generator. Look at the light bulb into the water. Notice how it isn't flashing. Yeah. See, I called it. That's smart, though. Mm. All right. Yeah. Just give me a second. I took off my socks and shoes quickly and rolled up my pants. Trying to hide my discomfort behind a cool face, I descended the stairs into a murky water. Yeah, you can tell this dude does not like any of this stuff. He is goody two-shoes, and he's definitely going to not be like that towards the end of the game. I just... My hopes and prayers is that this game does get finished. I'm not trying to... I'm just saying, like, when it comes to fan games, there tends to be curses. And I'm not trying to put that on anyone. But this just looks so cool that I really hope it gets finished. The mechanical noise was even louder now. It sounded like it was coming from the direction of the event. Yeah, but it definitely must be the generator. We're lucky the water isn't conductive. Those expo uh, exposed wires would be uh, bad news otherwise. Interesting. For such a small generator, it seems like it's running a lot of power. It's surprising how this noise alone wasn't enough to wake us up. Uh, whatever knocked us out of the train must have been pretty strong. Anyway, uh, that explained the wiring no or the, the wiring noise. Is that what that said? I wonder where all the power is going to. High up on the wall was a vent. Oh god, I said somebody was sus, didn't I? What could be on the other side? Uh, do you want to look through it? Yeah, Listen I do. Alright, I have an idea, but it will take some physical effort. Uh, like what? Well, 
like getting on my shoulders. Seriously? I, I'm not doing that. If you get on my shoulders, it would give a give you a boost and you can look through the window. Like, wouldn't it make more sense for her to get on his shoulders? Fair. Yeah, I was just, he said the same thing. Mm. I don't think you can handle it. Ooh, day, you gotta take that Damon? I don't know how to say, is it Damon? It's like Matt Damon? Or is it like Damon? Damon! <laughs> make sure to tuck your feet behind my back. Dang, he, he ain't a, he needs to grow some cojones. He will, I'm sure he will, right? He really standing on. <laughs> I'm fine. It's, the window already. it's the fact that he didn't even like be like, no, you should be on my shoulders. He, he's that, he's like, no, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's funny. Uh, do you see anything? Yeah, another vent in a room just beyond it. I can see what's inside the room, though. Both of these vents are in the way. Taking a closer look at the boiler room vent, I noticed there were hinges bolted to the upper corners. Does this mean the vent can be open? Wrapping my fingers around the grate in front of me, I pulled as hard as I could. Hey, I got it open. Can you see it better now? Although the second vent still obstructed a lot of the room, I was able to make out the legs of the tables and chairs. They were pretty fancy looking. It's the floor of the some fa uh, fancy room. We must be in a building with multiple levels. It does look fancy. Uh, where this vent opens into another room instead of outside. Huh? Just beyond the chairs in the very corner of the room, there was something peeking out. Uh. Oh, I do kind of see something. Oh my god. I felt my chest tighten. Is he passed out? Oh god, tell me he's passed out. Hey, hello, can you hear me? No response. Dang it, there's got to be some way inside the room. Can you let me down? Uh, there's someone in there. I, I... I think it's a guy. I thought he was going to talk. He's lying on the floor and I'm pretty sure he's passed out. He might know something we don't. If we're not uh, there when he wakes up, we might lose no. him. The room's on the level above ours, you said. Right, which means there must be somewhere down... Focus. Downstairs? What did I say? Stairs somewhere. I have to find them. Uh, to leave an area, press R key. Okay. Oh, okay. So R. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes. Where are we going? As soon as I was out of the water, I threw my socks and shoes and ran straight to the door. Isn't there water in front of it? I guess not. Upon leaving the room, I was greeted with an equally derelict hallway. Derelict hallway. The walls and floor were an old matted, matted color with uh, nothing else to them. No wall decor, no windows, no life whatsoever. However, there was one thing that stood out. At the very end of the hallway, where the corridor took a sharp turn, was what looked to be a sunlight hitting the wall. Does that mean there's an exit around the, uh, that corner? Hey, don't want to be jump scaring me like that. Don't go running off without me. <laughs> if you need to get somewhere, you gotta get on my shoulders. I've already inspected the rooms in the hallway, so you can just ignore them. Uh, when did you do that? While you were asleep? You weren't waking up despite my best efforts, so I decided to investigate on my own. Hang on, your best efforts? Poking you in the face, dragging you by the feet? I even bridal carried you at one point. Ooh. You gonna take that, Damon? Damon? I don't know how to say your name. <laughs> Not sure I can believe that. Anyway, I haven't checked uh, what's upstairs. I didn't walk too far from where you were lying. Uh, you didn't think to get help? You were obviously breathing. That doesn't answer the question. You only started to wake up after I returned from my search. How does that get in the way of uh, finding help? Unless she didn't want to leave me there alone. I can't figure her out at all. Unless she's evil? Huh? Right? Maybe? Hey, I'm not using my ultimate power yet. Just wait. Don't worry, when I get a sniff, when I get a sniff, that something is super sus, I will let you know. I mean, I've already made a few predictions, and I feel like they'll be true. Oh, dang, this is getting scary music. I just gotta rub my head a little bit. <laughs> That's how I wake the powers up. This floor didn't turn up anything useful, by the way. The rooms were just a bunch of storage closets, completely de dilapidated, filled with random stuff. Was that the case for every room? If you don't believe me, you can check for yourself. As my great grand uh, grandmother's brother's friend motivational's calendar once said, you can't progress if you don't have the will to move. Please use the last keys to walk. Okay. All right. I know. I know what to do. Oh God. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like going towards the wall. Yeah, it's got the same effect. So far, every aspect of this game just screams like professional. Like it does not scream fan game. Very creepy. Creepy music. All right, let's go into the strange closet. Oh, this looks like some key items. The room was almost identical to what Eva had described earlier. There was no real organization or meaning to anything. It was just filled with completely random crap. Uh, what did I tell you? It's definitely a messy place. Uh, that's right, let's move on now. 
I should probably listen to her. Eh, okay. Uh, okay, let's press enter. Oh, there really is nothing in the room. Okay. For now. See, th this is weird. Okay, I press R. Yes. All right, let's go to the back. I mean, she says there was nothing there, so there we had no point to really look. The upper floor was a lot better condition than the one below. That wasn't saying much. Water stains covered some parts of the walls and the ceiling. I can only guess the pipe had broken and started leaking. There didn't seem- wait, so why is there water? So we- okay, calling it right now. We're in a ship. There didn't seem to be any mold, uh, at the very least. So... Yeah, this looks like a ship. The room with the unconscious man should be above and adjacent to the, uh, boiler room. Which means it was- must be on the other side of this hallway, correct? Yeah, yeah given we walked away from the boiler room to get mm -hmm. here. Alright, let's investigate. Oh god. Okay, now I kind of regret not checking the rooms just to- just to see if there was anything in there. Oh, okay. So yeah, we know that the bad guys- well, we think they're the bad guys now. We don't know the story, but... I mean, I'm telling you, I know, man. You think someone's a bad guy, then then they tell you their story, and then you're like, you know, I kind of, like, agree with them. You know, we never know. So let's look at this painting. They seem to wear these, like, wolf or slash dog masks, or maybe they might be cats. I don't really know. It was a portrait of a girl dressed in a creepy mask. Looking at it for too long is just going to freak me out. The game run, runs, like, super well, too. Oh, another creepy mask. Oh, God, someone around the corner? All right, let's check the rooms. It's locked. Let's worry about that later. We need to find the room that the man was in. Uh, you think we're above? You think we are above and adjacent to the boiler room? No, I don't. Let's move on. So don't check any of the rooms then. All right. What about this plant? This looks like the rooms we're gonna be staying in. There must be no. Uh, this is definitely not the room with the man. Oh god. Wow, they even have like more dialogue lines for other things. You can- Wow. Whatever bird this mask is supposed to resemble, it's a freaky looking one. <laughs> okay, what's on the other side? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Something's gonna happen if we go through there for sure. It looks like a boss door. Sheesh, I was always giving the creeps. You know, I thought that too until I held one. In, in Japan, I held one. Okay, that gives me the creeps. That's creepy. But yeah, I- There was like this really tiny owl. I held it and it played with like toys and it was the cutest thing I've ever seen. Owls are, are freaking lit, okay? It's locked. I'm telling you, you don't even know you want to hold an owl until you do. Just don't go, like, find an owl on, the, on, on a tree somewhere. Don't do that. <laughs> I do not recommend that. I tried one time. It didn't go well. All right. There's strange paintings. Let's just go through the door. This must be the room. Taking a deep breath, I pushed open the large doors. This looks like where a class trial is going to be for sure. No. It looks like they got up. Wow, that's a pretty stylish looking place. It's a lot better maintained than the rest of the building. Okay, the vent should probably Oi. be... Oi! <laughs> but I didn't even... How long was she... I didn't even know she was there. I literally did not see her. <laughs> no, whoopsie. Maybe I assumed it was the other girl and I just like blocked her out. Before I had a chance to react, the woman drove her fist directly into the side of my head. Oh my god. Who the heck are you? What the... Who the heck are you? Crap. Uh, did you just hit me? I'm not gonna embrace a stranger with open freaking arms. You could have been a murderer. So your instinct is to attack every everything you see. I've already spared uh, one guy in a suit. I'm not letting my guard down a second time. Uh, a guy in a suit? Oh, he must have been the guy on the floor. Hello. <laughs> Hello. This guy, the outfit he's wearing. Uh, we must have met before, haven't we? I was about to say, I recall seeing your faces on the train. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the two of you were standing next to each other. Do you guys know each other? Not at all. We've only formally met a few minutes ago. Uh, oh, anyways. well, you were still knocked out by that sleeping gas stuff, right? Soybean. Soybean. Is she like an, uh, an Aussie? Come again. Uh, yeah, that's right. I said it. You're a soybean, just like the loser. A soybean, just like the loser next to me. I disagree, but we should focus on what happened on the train. <sighs> I don't know what the freak happened, but one second I was on the train. The next I was surrounded by total darkness. The place was like a solitary confinement chamber. I thought I was going to suffocate in there. Uh, what are you talking See about? See that pantry over there? Yeah. Turns out the door was unlocked. You were inside the pantry? <laughs> when she kicked open the door, I nearly jumped out of my skin. Uh, what the heck were you doing while she was in there? Waking up? Uh, isn't it unfair? I got stuffed into some tiny pantry while this guy had the entire floor to himself. Whoever's responsible for this must have been jealous of my talent. You won't believe how uh, many jealous... 
bad people. You won't believe how many jealous bastards turned <laughs> violent in this industry. Okay. Industry? Uh, what's the dumb? What's with the dumb face? Uh, you know who I am, right? Was I supposed to? Now she's definitely the ultimate tennis player, right? <laughs> Uncultured swine. My name's Grace Madison, ultimate golfer. Don't forget it, soybean. Oh, maybe I was wrong. I, she sounded like I haven't. Heard, I haven't heard her speak. It just sounded like she was Australian, but I think I'm wrong about that now. The ultimate golfer. All right, I'm gonna call you Tiger Woods. Except the girl version. Tigress. Is Tigress? Wood? Woods? <laughs> Since the two of you were on that train, that means you're ultimate as well. What about you? Hmm, I'm the ultimate. Let me guess. Let me guess. Butler. Or flight attendant. Or pilot. <laughs> I'm trying to guess what he is. I'm Wolfgang Akere, the ultimate lawyer. Oh, or a lawyer. Yeah, that's what I was going to say next. Wolfgang Akair. A Akire? It's probably Akire. A lawyer, it's way better than being a golfer, but for such a young looking guy, I didn't expect him to have a talent like that. What well, golfers can be rich if they're, especially if they're ultimate. His age must be part of what makes him Pardon ultimate. Me. You look confused. I, I, I'm not I, confused. I just, uh, I look too young. Is that what you think? I understand. I get it a lot. Uh, even Miss Madison Whatever said it. Because it's true. Well, don't you think the same could be said for yourself? I'm not wise in any way of sports, but I've always had the impression golf was an old man's business. <laughs> not that young men shouldn't take uh, the reins. The sport's probably in need of a revival. <laughs> it's a tough industry, but that's what we, that's why we gotta fight for recognition. Not sit around for seven years and do it f off. Wait, do it f and do f all. <laughs> Sounds like the average high schooler. Now I think about it. Hey, how old were you when you first started college? No, thank you. That's personal information. I don't intend to disclose. <laughs> Uh, you're a piece of work, aren't you? Uh, what happened to talking about the train? These guys seriously have their priorities skewed. So, so you have them too? Uh, look. We're all wearing the same wrist straps. Really? Uh, you were busy talking, so I figured you wouldn't notice unless I pointed it out. Aye? Aye? Am I right or wrong? Man, I can't tell. Wrist straps, you say? <laughs> uh, I still don't know. I need to hear her talk more. The freakers are more like mini shot callers. Uh, those aren't mutually exclusive. I heard you the first time. So you uh, tried you tried to take it off, yes. did you? Yeah, same with you. Actually, it was me who tried taking it off. The stupid thing zapped me when I did. I suspected it wasn't unique to Miss Madison, though I hadn't tried removing the strap myself. Equipping everyone with the strap that shocks them. What could justify doing something like that? Well, uh, what's the purpose behind these straps? Are you daft? It's to shock us. The thing is, we seem to receive a shock if we try to How remove it. So why aren't we allowed to remove these wrist straps? What I want to know is why even put the things on us? Hmm. I'm sure everything will become- everything will come. We'll find out. Hey, look at that scary dog picture. It doesn't make any sense for me to be abducted and taken somewhere I don't know. Surrounded by a bunch of strangers and forced to figure out why. It doesn't make any sense. Why is this happening? That's how these games always go, right? Like, they always like- why is this happening to me? Just wait till the end of the game, dude. Hello. Hello there. Are you talking to me? No. No, look behind you. Oh, God. Confused, I turned to see what uh, had captures everyone's attention. Is it the bad guy? Oh. We have the shy girl. For a second, I thought I was seeing things. See, like, I really like to hide this text. There has to be a button for this. It, it should be Q, but it's not. They'll probably in implement it later. Peeking at us from the corridor was a small girl. Who are you? A gremlin? <laughs> Miss Madison. You'll scare. <laughs> You'll scare her if you shout like that. The girl had left her position by the corridor and slid into the room. Now I can see her for certain that uh, she was a kid. What the heck? Why is there a kid here? I am not a gremlin. Does your mother never teach you manners? It's rude to talk back to strangers you haven't met. No way the gremlin can talk. I just told you I'm not a gremlin. If we must make comparisons, I'd rather you liken me to something more elegant. For example, a kappa. Really? It's not much better. Be careful. Please be careful what you say to her. This girl seems awfully young. Aw, you oh, he's so thoughtful. She doesn't seem young. She is young. What's going on here? Why is there a child wandering around here? 
You know, it's not- now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I also saw you on the train. You were hidden behind some other people, so you were pretty hard to see. I assumed you were sitting down or something. It didn't even cross my mind that you might be an actual kid. Let me guess. I'm not an actual kid. Carrying behind a bunch of strangers, huh? Figures I didn't see it. So, what the heck was it even doing on the train? That's what I'm wondering. A kid's got no business with people like us. I do not appreciate your misguided comments about my age. I am a professional just like the rest of you. You mean you're an ultimate? That really true? I didn't think children could qualify as ultimates. I am an ultimate. Must I am not a child. I, I told you. I said she was going to say that. Wait, what is it that you're so good at? Holding a fan? <laughs> hmm, so you desire to know my talent, do you? Normally, I decline further conversation with rude people like you. But given our circumstances, I shall be sanguine? I've literally never seen that word in my life on the matter. I am Toshigo Kaira, the ultimate matchmaker. Nice to meet you. Ah, I remember her now from the, the trailer. Ultimate matchmaker. Aren't you a bit young for something like that? The gremlin's obviously lying about having a talent. I bet it snuck into its way on the train because it saw the commotion. <laughs> now the little beasterd is stuck with us. Look at what you've done. You made her upset. Of course not. Uh, I'm not upset. I know better than to take a gremlin seriously. Oi! Yes, he no. Oi! No, that's not an Aussie thing. That's not an Australian thing, is it? Now I don't know. Grace, you're making me angry. Can you please just talk more? Don't think you can use my insults uh, against me. What? So if I have things right, all five of us were on the train. What about the other people who boarded it? Do you think they've been... Yes, yes. They've been kidnapped. Apart from us, there are 11 other people. Counting us, that makes 16. The 16th student. That's the same number of people who were on the train. Hmm, I've become well acquainted with them. The only person I've been avoiding is the frustrating boy I woke up with. Who uh, You wouldn't believe his manners. Uh, sh and she also woke up with another person. I'm starting to see a pattern here. As does everyone else. Speaking of, would you like to meet the others? I think they should know about you four. That would be helpful, yes. Very well, I should serve you as your guide uh, as we embark on this new journey. Don't feel so happy about this. This is a kidnapping, not a college orientation. Then again, it's not like I would go to the most orientations willingly. Maybe those two students aren't that different after all. There are others right now. Uh, obviously, they're outside this building. There's uh, an exit not far from here. Follow me. She seems to know more than us. It wouldn't hurt to entertain her. Let's see what uh, this thing has up its sleeve. Grace is so mean. Outside this building. So there's even more to this place than we even already seen. I, I want to know if I'm right about the ship thing. I might not be right about it. We'll see. Just how big is this area that we're exploring? Standing on Standing here won't give me an answer. I should find the exit already. Oh, got some new music. Oh, there's all kinds of things. The woman's mask before the un uh, unmistakable nose and horns of a giraffe? Is that what that said? <laughs> Definitely not a live one, though. This was where the loud golfer girl Grace was woke up. It would have been funnier if she was shoved into the refrigerator instead. Okay. Let's go back. I'm sure we'll come back here. Looks like the others are gone. Uh, whatever. I work better alone. Oh, they probably went this way. I think there was a door over here? Right, yep. Yeah. Called it. You're late. You're waiting? <laughs> Only because the Grimly insisted. I didn't even realize you fell behind until she said something. I'm ashamed to say the same. By the way, what are the others doing right now? Exploring something else, probably. You don't sound very sure of yourself. Uh, they had the nerve to tell me to stay put while they inspected the area. If they don't want me exploring, then I suppose I'll explore myself. Alright, sounds like they just wanted to show off. Who cares about that? The guy's here now. Let's go already. Yes, and then the others will realize their foolishness. Onwards, uh, to the great outdoors! The little girl turned to face the door, but instead of pushing it open, she reached for the lock I hadn't even noticed before. The door opened with a long, sh shrill creak, and we finally saw what was waiting outside. It's gonna be a million people. Oh no, just a few people. Standing before us bathed in sunlight was a massive of Romanesque courtyard. Finally, some sunlight! The courtyard. I wonder if we can escape by climbing over the hedges. The hedges are tall, but if we try looking for a rope, I doubt it's that easy. The devices we're, we're wearing will probably shock us. Hmm, let's see if you're right. Soybean. Go on, Soybean. Climb the uh, hedge. What the? No. Unfortunately, it's pointless to climb the hedges. How do you know? If you take a closer look at the sky, you should understand. The sky. Let me guess. The sky is fake. Did you see, do you see anything strange? Anything strange? No, there's nothing standing out to- wait, huh? As my eyes tried to adjust to the glare of the sun, I noticed it. The shape of the clouds weren't normal at all. No, it's almost as if they were concave. 
It's a screen. The sky is curving inwards. Uh, are we looking at a hologram of, of this size? No way. That's got to be a 360 projection or something. You mean the sky we're looking at is actually a video pa uh, panorama? It sounded completely ridiculous when she said it out loud. Uh, when said out loud, but th at the same time, it made too much mm -hmm. sense. If this is a 360 pro uh, projection, wouldn't that mean that we're inside some sort of dome? Mm -hmm. Such is the truth I have long re <laughs> recognized. She over here talking like Yoda. Come off the grass. <laughs> Come off the grass. Oh, God. Wait, you knew that the sky was fake? Why did you call this dump yard the great outdoors? It was uh, for dramatic effect. In truth, I haven't seen natural sunlight since the moment I woke up here. For concern. No sunlight? You really didn't see uh, any windows in this building? No, no not at all. <laughs> No windows means no oxygen. We might be suffocating as we speak. <laughs> uh, we survived this long. I think we'll be okay. It's probably oxygenated and you know, there's a room for that, I bet. You're acting way too nonchalant. Doesn't this place bother you at all? It's a dome with a fake sky. That's like something out of the movie. Uh, maybe whatever brought us here wanted to recreate the feeling of being outside in lieu of actually letting us outside. Sure, if you want to make uh, broad assumptions. In a situation like this, making assumptions is all you can really do. Whether or not the sky really is a projection, it's not something we can do much about. For now, we should remain focused on meeting the other students. Huh? Above the incane chatter, I heard a quiet, high-pitched noise, so, sort of like a mouse's squeak. It was so unlike the current conversation, it automatically stood out. Can you guys stop talking for a second? Hmm? Is there a problem? Yeah. You hear that? Hey. Hey. It almost sounded like wh uh, whimpering. <laughs> Strike me pink. What? <laughs> Oi, you. Uh, who the heck is crying? Quit hiding and come talk to us. Uh, do ignore the shrew. Her bark is uh, worse than her bite. Who are you calling a shrew? The crying seemed to have stopped, but whoever it was refused to come mm -hmm. out. Can we just leave them be? If we don't want help, uh, if they don't want help, it's not our issue. Yes. Don't be so heartless. Uh, this could be someone in need. Be careful. Unto the girl that is crying. Please excuse my friend here. None of us are here to hurt you, so I think you should come out hiding. We'll only make you more scared. You do you really think that's going to convince them? Eh? Oh, it's this girl. Uh, uh. Hello, I am... Wasn't, um... Hello. How about you tell us your name first? Uh, Eloise Stoner. I'm the ultimate fencer. I it's really nice to meet you all. Even if it doesn't seem like it. The ultimate fencer, huh? Okay. I can guess all of their deaths already. Ultimate fencer, was it? Great. That's strange. Someone who is prolific at fighting shouldn't have a reason to hide from people. Actually, it doesn't focus uh, as much on courage as people think. Um, um, the key to fencing is the ability to predict your opponent's moves, along with having the agility to avoid them. Uh, acting brash may get you for the first move, but it's a steady analytical mind that secures the win. That's kind of impressive. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I get really excited when it comes to the subject, so I can't help but gush. But I have to ask, why are you hiding from us? She stood there quietly, deep in okay. thought. When I woke up, I have no idea where I was or why I was here. There were several strangers around me, and they were all so panicked as well. I felt like a mouse caught in a trap. Everything around me was so suffocating. That's why I ran away immediately. I really don't like it when people can see me like that. I can't even call my mom. My phone wasn't on me when I came to. If it's any reassurance, I it seems like my friends and I are in the same situation. That's probably the last thing she wants to hear. And since we were, when we were friends... When were we friends? Since when have we been friends? Since when have we decided to be friends with each other? There, that works. Was there anyone with you when you woke up? Yes, but I didn't get to talk to them before I went into fight mode. Sorry, she started fencing. <laughs> she doesn't even have like a sword, you know, she's just like making the motions. All right, what's going on around here? Uh, uh, were you the only people in the building, by the way? Uh, Miss Kayua is currently introducing us to everyone else. Would you like to join? I think I want to stay where I am. Very well. Very well. When I meet the others, I'll tell them to gather here. Uh, that way you won't be alone. Also, if everyone's together, we can discuss our next course of action. Yes. We must talk to everybody. We have so many more people to talk to. Like, I don't even think... I might have to make multiple episodes, man. I don't think I have time to do this. I, I don't know why I didn't do this a lot sooner. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I'll wait here if it makes it easier for everyone. Many thanks. Many thanks to Miss Tolner. Compared to before, she looked a lot calmer. Wolfgang knew she had to handle the situation pretty well, or maybe he just knows how to handle people in general. I guess it's admirable. All right, let's keep moving. Okay. All right, I noticed you from afar. The ultimate archer, for sure. A guy was leaning against the hedge with his hands on his pockets. Nice. Looks like he found some friends. Uh, why don't you say hello? 
He looked at us and waved. Hey, I resisted the urge to wave Pay back. Attention. That's so cool how like it does the whole zoom in. Have you no manners? Talk to them. Oh, All right, my bad. I clearly clearly amused. He stood up straight and faced us. Don't worry about it. I didn't mean to act like a D. Today's just been all over the place for me. Not an excuse, I know. I suppose. Uh, we can forgive you if you give us your name. Easy enough. I'm Desmond I'm Hall. Desmond Hall. They call me the ultimate marksman. Okay, archer marksman. Pretty close. Hear me out. He's definitely gonna shoot someone <laughs> with his arrow. Wait, why does he have his arrows? Right? That's weird. It's weird that they wouldn't take something like that away. Maybe that's gonna be used later on in the story. Hey, marksman, eh? You must be really good at shooting stuff, right? right? That's right. I have a really good eye for my targets. Guns, bows, slingshots. Oh, even guns, too. You name it, I've hit bullseyes with it. So anything that shoots, basically. With all those weapons, I must ask. You haven't killed anyone, have you? Whoa, Whoa never, dude. I realize my talent may leave some people on edge, but I only pl uh, practice on stationary targets. Moving targets are really outside my comfort zone. Believe me, Believe me I've never taken a human I life. See. see, good to know. Yet. Yet. I know how these games work. For such a serious question, he co uh, composed himself pretty quickly. Guess this guy knows how to keep his cool. So where's our partner? We all had one to my knowledge. You mean the private, the pirate guy? He was, well, <laughs> he was fine. Harmless for the most part. Just a little too extreme for me to be around. In situations like this, I prefer to keep myself. I know that sounds a little less cooperative, but you know, yeah. I keep to myself. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, wait a You're second. Right. You. Did you just say pirate? Hmm. Sounds dumb, I know. I wouldn't buy it either if I hadn't spoken to the guy myself. <laughs> it's gotta be that one freaky dude on the train, right? The buff one with the dragon tattoo? Yep, yep that's your man. He went through the door over there, so... I gotta see him. You uh, you have fun with that. Just saying, the guy's a little too out there, you know? By the way, Desmond, do you see that the, the girl in the gray uh, uniform over there? I told her I'm gonna bring everyone here. I think it's important we discuss the current situation as a group. Could you give uh, her some company while I'm gone? Sure thing. Okay, well, he seems nice. Okay, I'm calling it. Someone's gonna die, and he's definitely gonna be one of the first suspects because we know, like, you know, they've already mentioned, have you killed anyone? You shoot things? And maybe, oh, I'm calling it right now. He's gonna be maybe, I don't know what the first one to be framed, but I feel like he's definitely gonna be framed for shooting somebody with something. Calling it. It's perfect. It's, it's the perfect situ situation. Class trial. He may act casual, but being the ultimate marksman must take a lot of diligence. Uh, always keeping a steady hand. Oh, yeah. Everyone must be in the building up ahead. Uh, perhaps they are discussing right something. By. Let's uh, head over and shall we? Okay, let's go. All right, we're going to go meet the pirate guy. Oh, my God. Okay, some of these people are the same. Oh, uh, the tree. No, Nurper guys. It's the tree's fault. The tree. Don't trust the tree. Anytime something bad happens, I'll just say the tree did it. Holy heck, is that a tree? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of nuts. <laughs> that joke probably only makes sense to me. Uh, there's a movie called Cook Punch of the Fist. You should watch it. You'll know. Just wait for it. That's a lot of nuts. <laughs> I'm telling you, everyone's need to watch that movie. How did I get onto the subject? That thing has to be like 60 feet tall or something. A tree to behold, isn't it? That's not it. Uh, let's not get too excited. It's only a tree. No. I'm not even sure we can say that. Can it care to elaborate? I don't quite get what you mean. Uh, Eva bent down and crushed one of the fallen leaves on her hands. I didn't hear any uh, crunching or tearing. This is a fox tree. I don't know how to actually say that, but a fake tree, basically. How could someone possibly manufacture a tree of this size? And it's like shedding leaves. Look at this. If it's real, explain why these leaves don't make any noise when I break them. Uh, Abora Aurorealis? Bora Aurorealis? That's gotta be it. That expression said it all. Uh, why the heck is there a huge fake tree? Indeed. It'd be hard past to find a school with an installation like this. You'd be hard past to find it anywhere. I feel like you'd only see this in a museum or something. This building certainly has a strange aesthetic. Uh, that's one way to put it. Yeah. Counting the two we just met, this is everyone, correct? Indeed. Correct. What's wrong? So, is... Is, is there something? <laughs> if everyone from our train car is here, where are the other people who were, who were on the train? That's a good yes. point. There were other people, right? Sure. Of course, the academy said they reserved the train for its students. Yeah, but did you actually see anyone? I never left the car, but I know Mr. Madison did. I want to... Where's the green-haired dude? I want to talk to him. Hey. Hey. I apologize. Uh, you mentioned leaving for the bathroom, remember? Uh, but I left to take a pee and like an hour ago. Oh. I see. I see. I passed a bunch of students on the way to the crapper. I didn't talk to them, though. Great. 
Uh, they had to they had to have heard uh, the commotion in our car. Why didn't they help us? Maybe they were also knocked out or their evil masterminds. Anywho. I doubt it's something that we can uh, answer right now. Can I just introduce you to the others already? Yes, we should familiarize ourselves with the people who are currently here. Yes, I guess that's the only thing we can do right now. Okay, this is all pretty baffling. All right, I'm probably from here out going to skip some of the blue dialogue because it's really like, as a let's player, you know, it's really not important to read it all, all the time. I might read some of it, but I want to get through this. Not because I want, I don't want it to be over, but I just want to meet everyone. There he is. Who is this guy? Is, is this the guy that makes music? <laughs> Come on. Just say something. Come on, man. Pretty please. So harsh. All I wanted was your name. The figures. Oh, it's more people. Slip and slide it. Oh. Hey there. Well, what's the matter with him? Uh, I don't know. I've spent ages trying to get this guy's name, but he won't say anything. If he's being a weirdo about it, just ignore him. Who are you anyways? Who am I? The name is Chet Dawson. Ultimate drag racer. Nice to meet you, shrimp. He's definitely going to be drift drifting to his death for sure. Ultimate drag racer. I feel like he's going to be a fan favorite. Maybe. Maybe. Also, I can really see something. I mean, come on. Can we also talk about the fact that his helmet is shaped like like the masks of the the paintings that's going to make him a suspect of some sort i'm assuming and also i feel like there's going to be some sort of drama around him being unmasked you know just a lot of potential there that's all i'll say aren't you warm in that suit uh, are you confused there's a fan inside the back of my helmet that emits cool air kind of like the fans in a car seat uh, Let's rock and roll. Uh, uh that cool your butt okay i, I was like what'd that say isn't that super rad with the way he yells every word uh he can make anything sound like a big deal only issue is they don't extend to the rest of my suit. Then stop wearing the suit and walk around naked. No I mean, wearing different clothes. So you should also have an ultimate talent, correct? Well? Uh, would you mind sharing it? My name's Mark Bursky. I produce music. Okay, I was right. I was like Mark Bursky. That's an odd last name. So a music producer. Yeah. He's gonna die. Let's call it. <laughs> it's mostly bad remixes and stuff. Uh, no, man, your music is wicked good. Does he got a uh, freaking SoundCloud? You know my songs? Nope. <laughs> Do I even have to? You're the ultimate music. Uh, it's got a point, though. Yeah, it just got a point. That just about says it all. I assume you two also woke up in this place, right? Do you have any idea what might be going on? Uh, this whole shebang did come about out of the blue, but to be honest, it feels like an ex extreme haunt. Do you know what that is? No. The figures. You don't look the type. Hey, you fallen? Anyway, extreme haunts are really intense horror attractions. Think a haunted house crossed with a survival horror game. Oh uh, staff will check you into an underground tunnel system, trap you in coffins, anything to scare you. It's I'm pretty good with the coffins, not so much with the That's tunnels. That's what's this got to do with us? You see, there's a couple places that are known for starting their haunts with the simulated kidnapping. Huh? For real? To make you feel as real as possible, they'll even take you where you least expect it. The thing is, they can't just jump anybody. You gotta consent first. What the heck? I never agree to be kidnapped. Unless you forgot and you have amnesia. We've been through this. And many times, I, I'm i just... It, it's a possibility, okay? Extreme haunts. Come off the grass. <laughs> yeah, people know better than to involve me in that crap. Well, Maybe we can send it to our kidnapping without realizing she called it. She freaking called it. I. I. For example, the letters were uh, received from the academy. It is possible maybe they didn't read the fine print. <laughs> Those invitations were actually consent forms in disguise. Wait. Don't tell me you actually believe this guy. Uh, given uh, what we've seen so far, I'd wager anything is possible. Is that really what's happening here? Mm, I don't know. Meh. Well, it's just a theory. We don't know what's going on until we explore some more. I know some people who might be interested in your theory. Uh, they're gathered by the courtyard outside. You can join them if you Adios. want. Sure thing, let's go, Mark. Hi, Mark. Were the letters we received actually consent forms in disguise? I mean, I that sounds believable, you know? Like, you, I mean, if you don't read the print. Is Eden's Guarded Academy even real? I should know better than to think some nonsense things like that. If the Academy was fake, someone would have already blown its cover. It's more likely that it's happening unbeknownst to the Academy. Well, yeah, probably. Oh, who are you? You look cool with your... Uh, tights. Yo! I'm Cassidy Amber, the ultimate pro gamer. All right. One v one. One v one, me bro. What does your hat mean? Very nice. Jumping right into the introduction, I like yep. it. I like it too. <laughs> Save some time. 
Making a good first impression is the key to grabbing the attention of your viewers. Especially if you have the over 20 million of them. Gotta earn that watch time. Oh, dang, she got two play buttons in. I don't even got one. I'm working on 4 million subscribers, okay? Well, counting whoever... I mean, I'm also counting the new channel, right? Who knows? I don't know how many subscribers we'll get here. I guess on this channel, we're gonna reach for 100,000. Kind of feels cool being a new channel again. Yeah, you gotta earn that watch time. And I'm just saying, visual novels are great for watch time. Is that really true? At 20 million? It's a, is gaming really that popular? Yeah. It's not just gaming, it's pro gaming. No. <laughs> Facing off against opponents in a large front of a large audience with prestige and prizes on the line, the Seeks can't get any higher. While her town is pretty frivolous, her attitude towards video games and competitions is somewhat impressive. What do you play? League? Valorant? What else? Apex? Huh? It's sort of like how I feel about debating. Question. <laughs> Question. Hello? What is it? Hmm. Do you guys know if this place has internet? <laughs> Oh, that's like me. Can I upload my YouTube videos here? I promised my comrades my streaming schedule wouldn't change after being kidnapped or after starting school. I'm kind of freaking Come out. Again. Your comrades? Hi, hi. Cassidy's comrades are the biggest fan community on the internet. Uh, she must mean her followers. <laughs> you must be very wealthy then. I've heard that popular streamers earn a lot of money, especially from subscriber donations. Uh, there are many stories about the young men falling prey to the infamous uh, tiered subscription. <laughs> are you talking about simps or what? They are rendered forever unmarriageable. Uh, Such a shame. <laughs> uh, I like this game a lot already. So how many suckers have you swindled with such a large fan base? You must be raking in the dough. The oh my god. <laughs> what the heck is this? What's wrong with your face? See how it is. You think the only motivation is money, don't you? I well, duh. Why else would you be a streamer? Typical Borgie scum. I don't know what the heck that... I don't even know how to say that word. Whoa! I stream for the betterment of the human race. As the leader of the Cassie's comrades, it's my duty to redistribute most of my earnings to the masses. You mean you give all your money away? Yeah. I do tons of expensive and generous stunts on my channel. Most of it's for charity, but sometimes it's for random subscribers. <laughs> One time I bought a... Oh, it's Mr. Beast. We have Mr. Beast over here. Dang. One time I brought a... Uh, I bought a spaghetti factory and donated it to a public school. <laughs> what is even a spaghetti factory? Those kids will never have to pay for lunch again. They'll get sick of... <laughs> I'm just gonna say the same thing. They're gonna get sick of eating spaghetti. Mommy, I don't want spaghetti anymore. All, right. <laughs> All the giveaways are streamed too. They're really popular, so I get a ton of views and donations from Impressive. them. Uh, you managed to uh, commodify the act of charity. That This is definitely Mr. Beast over here. Of course, I gotta reserve some money for the basic necessities. A truckload of chocolate soda being yeah. one. What is chocolate soda? What the heck? But it's not a problem for what, a person like me to have money since I earn enough through my own hard work. So the real problems are the swine who make billions every year. Oh god, it's one of these people. Everyone's gotta start somewhere, right? Even though all they do is sit around, drink cocktails, and stare at their stock profile. <laughs> I like her face. In fact, I can even detect the rancid stench of a morally bankrupt billionaire in this very academy. I bet they're plotting to profit off our suffering as we speak. I mean, in the end, it is really always about money, right? Uh, as worried as I am of future confrontations between you and the more affluent students, I suggest you head over to the building and I, as I investigated. We've been telling other people to gather here. All right, it was nice being y'all. Tree. <laughs> a tree. Hmm, that's a sus looking tree. It's not even a real tree. Okay, you are the ultimate Native American looking girl. Although I could be very wrong about that, okay? I don't know. Did you just say oof? <laughs> So you all got caught up in this place too, did you? I remember seeing the five of you on the train. Uh, you're really ultimate students, right. huh? We wouldn't have been on that train if you weren't. Just making sure. I knew the ed education sector had low standards, but okay. All right, you're you're good at two shoes too, or what? Are they just handing out titles to anyone who asks? Uh, what the heck's your damage? Ooh, oh yeah, they're not gonna get along. Right, that's it. Uh, what's the matter? I know this B. Uh, as in personally? Nah, she's a harlot that's been ruining, uh, ruining my magazines. Ever since her interview with the Rich People's Digest, her stupid success stories have been plastered everywhere. Uh, youngest self- Oh! Billionaire? Youngest ever self-made billionaire, pioneer of the agricultural industry. Blah. Dang, she does not look like that. Did I hear that right? The girl we're talking to, is she actually- <laughs> I'm flattered you memorized my resume. Your resume? So the things uh, she said weren't an exaggeration. Uh, this is news to you. Anyone who's uh, anyone knows about Win Winona? Why is it Winona or Winona? I don't know. I'll just say Winona. 
That would be my surname, Although, yes. Many call me the ultimate entrepreneur. Origins aside, it's one good title. Okay. One known. I wish she would have said your name so I know how to say your name. No wonder she gave us such an intense aura. This girl probably has enough money to buy an entire country. Uh, she has looks, talents, and wealth. She would be a truly auspicious match. Interesting. Uh, why would a billionaire need to attend a school like Eden's? Yeah, why would you ever need to go to school? That's like the dumbest thing ever if you have that much money. Hmm. I thought it would be an opportunity to make connections with the well-established geniuses of my generation. And there it is. Nasty. Now that I'm aware of the lax admission process, I'm leaving the first chance I get. And not because you've been kidnapped. You can't leave. Destiny has decreed that I must guide you towards a most wonder wondrous romance. Okay, so let me get this right. So they kidnapped all of us, right? We're all ultimates. But they also kidnapped a billionaire. So their motivation can't just be money. Or else why would they need to capture any of us except for just the billionaire? So there must be another motive. That's my deductive skills. I'm not really interested in that. I'd rather receive financial reparations from the academy. <laughs> At the very least, let me be in your steed. With my divine foresight, I shall lead your legal battle to victory. After I fell asleep on that train car, someone must have carried me out and dumped me next to the tree here. Why did no one stop them? Were there no precautions in this place to stop someone from manhandling a student? I say it was an extreme uh, ineptitude on the school's end, but since it appears I'm not the only victim. Well, that makes things all the more sinister. So she thinks someone carried it, uh, her in here? It's plausible, I guess. They could have transported us from the train by vehicle, then carried us in. When you woke up, uh, was there anyone with you? Yep, yeah, but she was weird, so I left her. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're a walkie stereotype. We know about as much as you do. The five of us have been walking around and talking to the other students that were on the train. The rest of us were uh, congre congregated outside. Once we meet everyone, maybe we'll figure out what's going on. Say, why don't you join them? I don't think I'll take you up on the offer. Or I think, or I don't think. No, I think, okay. <laughs> And I was like, man, she, she's not going to go? Such a relief that one of you actually had something useful to say. This girl's a piece of work, but given the recent happenings, uh, she's not worth the stress. This just makes me the main character be always questioning, well, 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 what's happening? Now I want to know too. We all want to know. All right. You are the ultimate blacksmith for sure. What's this? More friends? Let's not go that far. I don't even know your name or talent what yet. Then let me tell Hi. you. My name is Ingrid Grimwaller. I'm the ultimate blacksmith. Hey, there it goes. I may have seen that in the trailer, but I really just guessed it right now. My name is Angry Grimhall. All right. Dang, those muscles. A real blacksmith, eh? Is it anything like how movies depict it? Have you ever made swords out of molten metal? Not just swords, but tools, armor, statues. If you name it, I can for forge it. I've never, it's never been an easy undertaking, I will admit. Sprained muscles are far for the course, but I should be doing the accent. The same way climbing a mountain is painstaking, but reaching the top delivers a high you can never forget. The struggle is all worth it for the outcome. <laughs> Tee hee. No wonder she's built like an athlete. Her job sounds like a non-stop high intensity exercise. So, so how has your kind not gone extinct? Oh. <laughs> extinct? Made redundant by technology? Aren't there ways to make specialized weapons without overworking yourselves? Well, I, I don't like Against modern either. machines, it's true I'm not an equal match. <laughs> Because I think I'm better than them. Those hunks of metal may look cool, but their creations like the human touch. You gotta keep things natural, traditional. That's when truly amazing things happen. Man, would you look at that? If my creation touches, the, if my creation touches the heart, it's better than anything made by machine. Imperfections be damned. Oh, oh, better than machines, huh? People have always told me my skills were impressive, but I yet to compare it to a computer or something. Well, you're the. I mean, this is like the best one, right? ultimate. There's always been a demand for handmade things, especially nowadays. Does your audience skew older by chance? Old folks, movie producers, board game enthusiasts, even the occasional youngin. These are all people who visit me. Really? It's great when I can rela relate to most of my clients. Their excitement is mine. I, yeah, I can't, I can't keep this up. <laughs> Moving on. In any case, are you the same as us? Uh, were you also kidnapped on that train and taken here? Oh, oh I wouldn't say kidnapped. Uh, did you not black out on the train? Oh, no, I did. Well? Yeah. That's weird. Why are you saying that? Maybe it's a surprise excursion? Better yet, a uh, surprise exam. The people running this program are just putting our abilities to the test. That's stupid. If the academy was unhin that unhinged, no one would have continued to, to attend it. Going? Well, you know, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll get out of here. Needless optimism isn't a substitute for reason. Uh, there's a gathering happening outside. He keeps saying, Come on, guys, let's go outside. Aren't you nice? I'll get right to it. Don't you do anything silly while I'm gone. Uh, well, she seems too nice to commit a murder, which is what they're gonna want us to think. All right, we still have three more people to talk to. My God, okay, it's nothing against the game. It's just, it's always, it's always a lot. 
Oops, I'm really sorry for hurting your feelings. <laughs> I'll give your content a try. Who knows? I might really like Man. it. If you really didn't like me from the start, you're never gonna like me. Hey, you two. Uh, oh, crap. New guy over here. Uh, you boarded the train before things went all crazy, right? <laughs> Check it out. Me and the new guy together again. Stop acting like we're friends. I don't even know you. You're just messing with me. That's a joke, right? What is? You know, the thing you just said. Maybe you've heard my name before. Does Kai Montiago ring a bell? Hey. Come on, Kai Montiago. Uh, something of an artist, something of, of an entrepreneur. Very funny. He's an influencer. <laughs> a really big influencer. So maybe this is the YouTuber, really. Nope, doesn't ring a bell. Uh, right in the ego. I, I, I really... Faith in humanity oh. before coming to this dump. But... <laughs> Oh god, I can see all the fan arts now. <laughs> Kai. You don't recognize this dumb A? Must be nice. You do? Yes. Guy's the cancer of the internet. You just disagree with him one on one on one thing, and he'll stick his army of underage followers on you. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> He's a dictator with a trendy fit. Uh, dictator, day, she's you naysayers types are always so over dramatic. Whatever. Don't listen to her new guy. This chick just recycling other people's propaganda. Are you done yet? Uh, you're one to talk. Check yourself in the mirror before crying propaganda. Uh, I see you're no stranger to photo editing. I'm kind of impressed. No one would ever guess you had the face of a horse. Ooh, right in his ego. Hey, leave Kai alone. He may not be the nicest person in the room, but you can't see you're hurting his feelings. Uh, he can get over it. What about you? Uh, can you give your name and talents? Oh, oh sure. I'm Diana Venesia, your local cosmetologist. If you're ever in need of a makeover... I'll work my magic. <laughs> Cosmetologist. Cosmetologist. Hmm. So, what you're really saying is that you're good at disguising. That's all I hear. That's all I hear, sussy. Sussy baka. I mean, she seems very nice, though. Uh, is that it? You're just a makeup artist? Your information. Uh, not just a makeup artist. The makeup artist. Diana is the biggest beaut beautician in Hollywood. She's relatively... Relatively new to the public sphere, but word of her talent has been uh, dominating social media enough to pique the interest of the internet uh, Entertainment elite now every a-list celebrity is scrambling to hire her Kim Kardashian is trying her best to hire her. I see this is not your first time talking about her I am simply quoting my friends. They're all on Diana's waiting list. I'm sure uh, Why is it a shock that this guy doesn't recognize her? What about me? Why do you care what he thinks isn't the uh, demographic for people like you largely teenage girls? My stuff is for everyone. I'm ex inclusive like that. Okay, let's get it. Let, let's break this up. Diana, could you and Kai go to the courtyard outside? We're trying to get everyone to go there. Just go. All right, we got one more person to meet. Oh my God. Is there going to be pink blood in this game too? That was actually one of the questions I had about this game. And I think this may have just answered it. Ugh. Oh, why are you staring at me like that? Oh, All right, we got the last guy over here. You are the ultimate book. <laughs> very fancy, very fancy, very fancy. The ultimate librarian, the ultimate, the ultimate professor. Hmm, I don't know. Something like that. Hello? Hey, you. Oh, you sleeping? The the... Oh, sorry, I dozed off for a bit there. For concern. You have terrible eye bags. Have you not been getting enough sleep? That's me. <laughs> getting knocked out on the train was the most sleep I've gotten in a week. Thankfully, that little girl woke me up before I wasted too much time. I, if I'd known better, I wouldn't have. Your terrible sleep schedule has diminished your already meager natural beauty. Uh, the guy paused for a few seconds, then uh, began furiously scribbling in his notebook. Interesting. A boy with a snake tie, a girl with a white uniform, a man with a dapper suit. Uh, what are you doing? A very loud woman with a visor. <laughs> are you writing about us? I make sure to record all my daily happenings. There's no way I'd remember it all otherwise. In some fashion, note-taking is just one of my many responsibilities. Ooh, so he takes notes about everything. That could be a good thing or a really bad thing. So let's say if he wanted to kill someone, he could just like take a note and say like, oh, this is what I was doing. And he'll claim that that's his alibi. Or he's telling the truth and he can have an alibi when someone dies. I'm just saying it can go either way. And then they might believe him because he can convince everyone that he takes notes about everything. Am I right about this? Maybe we'll see. My name is. My name is Ulysses Wilhelm, okay. and I'm the ultimate historian. 
Please make note of that for future reference. Historian. I said professor. I would say that's in the realm a little bit, right? Uh, like, maybe. A historian. So he knows a lot about history. So what does he stay up late doing research all the time? A, a, a fellow scholar, much like myself. Shouldn't ultimate historian be good at rememberizing yeah. stuff? Yes, I'm perfectly proficient at remembering historical facts. This notebook is just for more frivolous information. Stuff like shopping lists, classmate birthdays, when to brush my teeth. Okay, that's pretty sad. I mean, writing stuff down is pretty useful. Like, it's very, very nice to do that. Healthy. Such excellent memory wasted on uh, manual trivia. You probably couldn't even remember the date of your wedding anniversary unless you wrote it down. I think that's the same for most. No. It is. It is. I have to think about it. Uh, so what do you do as the ultimate historian? As of now, I work for the uh, Padawamek River Museum in Sinakama. Oh, okay, we're not even gonna try it. I direct one of the exhibits here, uh, the Cold War era. And I'm not giving tours, I'm uh, studying primary source documents in my office. No wonder you, you can't get any sleep. If you could stay awake while reading all those hi boring history books, history books, there there's definitely something wrong with you. History isn't for everyone, I'm aware, but it's uh, it's important knowledge nevertheless. Yeah, I was never super interested in history, but that was for some reason one of the best classes uh, I got grades. Like, I was like really good at that. Wait, what the- who is you- who is that back there? Where did you come from? Okay, we have another person. But yeah, no, I was good at history for some reason. I don't know why. I, I don't even remember much anymore. Those who fail to learn from history are doomed to sound stupid when arguing on the internet. <laughs> That's not how the saying goes. It isn't, but I updated it to uh, coincide with more modern values. Uh, I thought it was funny. Right. Humor is subjective. Anywho. I thought it was good. People who have been gathering outside, yeah. or people have been gathering outside. The plan is to discuss our next course of action. Could you please join them? Uh, thank you, miss. Uh. He hurriedly he went. Wait, did you seriously forget my name? I guess he forgot. That's the most egregious offense. Take solace in the fact that I am a mere matchmaker and not your romantic partner. According to my notes. In a large world run by even larger ideas, small things can be easily overlooked. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, roaster. Yeah. Alright, this guy we just met well, probably won't. Oh god, he's all sleeping. Oh, he's literally asleep. Okay, is there anyone else or like behind the tree? In the tree. Okay. Glad to see you're all right, kid. Of course I'm all right. You gave everyone a scare running away like that. I really thought we could catch you, but how fortunate that the door came equipped with the lock. However, it was all worth it. Look at these people I befriended during my exploration. I'll give credit to where credit's due. You came back with plenty of spoils. I want to talk for a sec. Uh, you're a pirate, right? <laughs> Shiver me timbers. Ahoy, matey. That kind of pirate, right? Pirate. <laughs> I'm not a pirate. I'm a ship captain. There's a huge difference. A ship captain? You don't need to be so loud. She was just asking a question. Just a question? Huh. For a guys like me, that pirate nonsense is a tired stereotype. What? Pirates live off stealing and causing trouble. We ship captains are nothing more like, uh, nothing like low lives. If you're not a pirate, then explain the clothes. Do these clothes look like the pir uh, the clothes of a pirate to you? Maybe not a real one, but an exaggerated stereotype, sure. I mean, pirates look cool. I mean, at least. Please don't. It's probably the best you leave this uh, man alone. I take it he's dealt with uh, your our kind before. My mistake. I never like to soil the mood, but a man can only stand so much. I'm real sorry. Sorry for losing my cool. Okay, whatever. You said you were the ship captain, right? This guy was acting weird, but I wanted to get more out of him. I never pictured a ship captain receiving an invitation from Eden's Academy. Uh, Eden Gardens, Eden's Garden Academy. I know the sea's like a back of my, the back of my hand. Every river and waterway within the north and southern waters. <laughs> I'm the king of the I'm seas. The king of the seas. Okay. Hero of the storms. I am John de la Mer. Why is he like announcing like he's fighting or wrestling or something? John de la Mer, ultimate ship captain. Okay. King of the seas, hero of the storms. Do people actually call him that or did you come up with is that? that really true? You know every river and waterway? Is that really true? Oh. Yep, I've studied every map I possibly can. Of course, I haven't actually been everywhere. According to this uh, stingy little thing called border, border patrol, that's known in some parts as trespassing. <laughs> I may be the king of the seas, but I'm not above the law. I suppose that's good I enough. See. Either way, it's not like it matters much here from the looks of it. We're nowhere near the Leave ocean. Fortunately, life is- Okay, well, maybe they're not on a ship. 
I mean, I figured he would know, you know, about ships. Fortunately, life as a captain has accustomed me to the unexpected. You lads can trust in me. I will protect you as if you were my own crew. Protect us from what? Uh. I suppose from whoever put these wrist, wrist watches on us. Then again, there doesn't seem to be anyone else in this place apart How from us. So? Guess that means that our only obstacle is finding an escape. Not too big of an ask, eh? Uh, all we need to do is find where we entered. Then voila, sweet freedom. By the way... Uh, it may interest you to know that people are gathering outside. Just go outside. Good just to know. All right, just get, get, get out there. That guy's a prick. Not at all what I expected. Well done. We've exchanged formalities with everyone here. We should have met up with the others and formulate a plan of action. In our honor, as ultimates, we will not be confined any longer. What a dramatic kid. All right, let's go to the courtyard. Woo! At least it was entertaining. It, it, honestly, like, this is... Every bit of this is just so impressive. Honestly, this is so cool. Any clue? Uh, yeah. What's going what on if... here? We're being pranked 100%. Oh. This would be a really elaborate no, prank. Seriously. Some people have the money for it. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm killing the prick who's responsible. Uh, this is off me. topic, but I don't believe I ever asked your name, loud woman in visor. Remember the name. It's gri it's Grace, you wanker. Mm -hmm. Is that a bad thing to say? Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm from America. It, that doesn't sound like bad at all. So excuse me, I did not mean to curse. And your surname, please? <laughs> Madison's Grace Madison, the ultimate golfer. I uh, how did you know that? You said it in the dining hall, remember? I don't recall you being there for introductions. She was spying on us, yeah. I would never! I would never! I simply happened to overhear a conversation is all, which is eavesdropping. Just <laughs> burp. If we could take a step back for a second, what was uh what the what the 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 Alright, cool it. Goose Harba. I just malfunctioned. Okay. If we could take a step back for a second, what was this thing about a dining hall? It's inside the building over there. Is there a kitchen too? Uh, they got anything locale? I'm starving. Attention. Be patient, will you? Introductions are still underway. Yeah. Uh, okay, but you have to speed run them. Oh, uh, gaming references from someone else? The universe has been thrown out of balance. <laughs> uh, along with Grace Madison, we have the mighty and prestigious Wolfgang Akira. Akira. He's well known in the ult as the ultimate lawyer. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Uh, hey, lawyer man. Lawyer? Uh, yeah. Is that your name for me? Yeah. Uh, is that either... It's either that or Wolfie. Do you like Wolfie uh, more? Stay with what you already Hi. have. A lawyer. Wow, it's so nice to meet you. Uh, next up we have... Hmm. His name seemed to be escaping me. Perhaps you know Wolfgang Grace? I'm not too... I have no idea. <laughs> Freak if I know his Brucey. name. He told me. I'm pretty sure it's Mark, right? <laughs> uh, my bad. I've got a habit of mixing you sort of guys together. Uh, what are you waiting for? Tell us your name already. Oh, I thought he was going to talk. Uh, Damon Maitsu, ultimate debater. debater? So like a bargain bin lawyer. <laughs> Grace Hi. Madison, Wolfgang Akire, uh, Damon Maitsu, who else is left? Hiya. Come on, darling, you can do it. Yeah, share your name. Eva. Just Eva? <laughs> Just like my video games. <laughs> like a spy? Uh, Eva Tsunaka. <laughs> uh, that's a very pretty name. Uh, fittingly <laughs> elegant, isn't it? <laughs> Mm, but let's not get off topic. What's your talent, Eva? 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 I say Eva. Now that you mention it, I'm pretty sure you've never told me your talent. What's up with that? I've told you mine. It's only fair you tell me yours. Okay. Her talent is going to be investigator. If it is, it, like, it's totally Kyoko, right? <laughs> Ultimate liar. That is not what I expected. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, that is... No wonder why she didn't want to say it. How do you... What is an ultimate liar? Uh, that's so funny. So, like, what's your actual talent? That's it. Good to know. Didn't know lying was something you could be the best at. You learn something new every day. For real? You actually believe her? How is someone supposed to make a career out of lying? Uh, easy. Get a job in marketing. <laughs> it's just what I am. Uh, or be a lawyer. She would be a great lawyer. Is that supposed to be your explanation? Uh, but that's, I mean, if you're the best at lying, how are we supposed to believe anything you say? As he sputtered those last words, we all turned to Ava unexpectedly. That's when it happened. Ding dong, big bug! Woo! <laughs> I didn't know we were actually gonna get a ding dong, bing bong. Oh my God. I'm, uh, <laughs> every time I hear ding dong, bing bong though, I'm reminded of the, the time we got Danganronpa 1 and scrambled it, all of it with the mod. Ding dong gas bing. That's uh, what I call it. Uh, that crap was funny. Testing, testing. We finally see One, it. Two, three. Can everyone hear me? Yes? Great. <clears throat> Good morning, my amicable.
Hello, student friend. Okay, okay. First off, allow me to apologize. I realized the ride here was a bumpy one, especially for ultimates such as yourselves. But expect things to be different within these halls. Yes, it is my pleasure and privilege to welcome you all to Eden's Garden Academy. May this be the beginning of a wondrous journey. Doubt it. Did he just say we're at Eden's Garden Academy? No. We can't be. No kidding, this place looks like nothing like a school. Talking so loud. I want to hear this. I'm pretty sure you're on edge of your seats waiting for a proper orientation, but there's one more thing to do before we can meet face to face. It won't take very long. All I ask is that you enter the building across from me. From there, we can begin preparations for a formal introduction. Until then, farewell. I must take note of this. That was interesting. Whack. Couldn't agree more, Whack. Do you think uh, he's the person? Well, I think she's like, Whack. Do you think he's the person that brought us here? What if he set up sleeping gas on the train? Be complicated. Uh, in that travel bag? How do you reckon he snuck it on? Guys. Sorry to interrupt, but we're not going to skip the part where he said about the building, are we? He wants us to go inside. Do you think we should? Hell no. I'm not Watson right in there just for me to die or something. <laughs> die? You think we're going to be harmed? If our captors wanted to kill us, we'd already be dead. What would be the point in killing us now? Reactions, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a psych uh, psychopath. How should I put if it calls for it, if we walk in together as one big group, when you know someone is looking out for you, things can be a lot uh. less scary. She's got a point. The only way we can progress is if we face the problem head on. Soybean. Uh, easier said than done, soybean. I suppose that makes sense, but isn't that it too naive? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a bit of optimism from time to time. Let's just try it, okay? All right, we gather around the entrance, none of us willing to be the first to walk through. Eventually, I mustered through enough uh, willpower to push the doors open. Loading? Are we loading? Okay, we're loading. Oh, cutscene. Already? Oh my god. The flashbacks! Ah! It's all coming back to me! No! Oh, that's so good. This is crazy, dude. This is crazy. We we don't even know who this is. In front of me lay the, the battered bloody body of a young woman. Oh, no. Oh, dang. That's a good scream. Is that girl dead? Why is there a dead body? What happened? Uh, is this another student? What is this crap? Um, dining hall people, were, uh, you were in this building before. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, why did you mention this to the other girl? The I never even saw her. You were there too, bargaining, uh, bargain bin. Don't even, I can't believe we're jumping in this already. Someone already done killed somebody. <laughs> There's a floor below us. That's where I woke up. And you missed a whole freaking person? No, yeah, right. No. You saw her. You must have seen her. Come on, just admit it. Stop pressing me for uh, an answer to you. I can corroborate Damon's story. There was never a body. Mr. Ma Miss Madison and I walked through the exact hallway and saw nothing. I, I so between the time you this. and the time you returned, this girl was murdered? Ah! You think he was? she was murdered? I'm telling you, I didn't never see that pirate guy. Right? Did I just miss him or did he just show up randomly? Well, I don't know for sure, but what happened to her? Does that really look self-inflicted? Oh, there's a gun in there too. Oh my God. Yeah, so I, I already know how this is going to go. There's a killer running loose. <laughs> Um, but I don't recall hearing anything when I was waiting outside. Desmond can back me up, right? Uh, she's right. There were no screams and no one left the building. So the killer's still inside? <laughs> uh, as more panic shouts begin to fill the corridors, Eva silently walked over Oi. to the body. Oi, what are you doing? Ignoring Grace's question, she crashed down beside the dead girl and poked her in the face. What the? You... What is wrong with you? Stop that! Change. It's not real. Aye? Aye? Hmm... She's just a dummy. Oh my god. Don't do that. That's a really realistic looking dummy that's drawn. How? <laughs> that's definitely a real body. You're crazy. Did you just say you were a liar? Why should we believe it's you? If you don't believe me, inspect it yourself. <sighs> <sighs> if no one else is offering, I can do it. I'm all, I'm all going through the scenarios. It's not even real. How does that sound to everyone? He turned to look at, at each of us. Okay, go ahead. Touch him. Okay. He approached the body and knelt beside it. And just like Eva... Oh, be Would you look at that? She's right. It is a dummy. For real? Say what? How did she know it was fake? See? My intuition. Also, a corpse could sm well, would smell. It doesn't smell. Dude, I mean, not no. if it... Not if it wasn't like... Uh, probably like... 
You're gonna have to be a while before it starts smelling, right? Maybe? Could you be any more suspect? That ain't it. Not just that, there's uh, something under the dummy. Uh, what is it? A tablet. Oh no. It was slid under the dummy. There's no blood on it as far as I can tell. Nice hiding place. What is the good music, by the way? Uh. The music's really cool. Wouldn't have noticed even if I hadn't taken a closer look. Given the impression I was supposed to, don't it? Uh, what's on the tablet? Let me turn it on. He pressed the button, then walked over and held the uh, tablet out for us to see. Oh, it's loading something. After a few seconds, the loading symbol vanished. In its place was a photo of a girl, Kara Koshi Koskinen, Ultimate Teacher's Day, but I don't get it. What is this? However, the tablet hadn't finished loading. Just after the image, the victim of Kara uh, Koskinen, the ultimate teacher's aide, she was stabbed in the torso 28 times. 20 stab wounds or something, <laughs> I forgot. The victim also suffered chemical burns to the head and most notable burns to her eyes and scalp. Uh, cause of death is blood loss. Time of death is unknown. It reads like a body report. So is this like tutorial or what? First a dead body that's revealed to be a dummy, now a body report. What's going on? Jeez, took you long enough to find that tablet. Long, long ago, a heinous murder was committed, and the victim so happened to be an ultimate, much like yourselves. Before you is a perfect reconstruction of the crime scene, as well as an effigy of the victim with the appropriate injuries. It was quite an emotional draining to craft that dummy. It served as a strong reminder of what was- wait, what do you mean to drain the dummy? Oh, did I say drain? Oh, to craft the dummy. Did I say drain? I don't know what I said. I was like, wait a minute, they drained it? She was such a nice girl, so much potential, lust of violence. Uh, what is this man playing at? Anyway, it is your responsibility to figure out the details of her death. The surrounding areas, the murder weapon, how she reacted in her final moments. Uh, but don't worry about finding the murderer's identity. He's already right in front of you. See that gray and see the gray man in the tablet screen? Yep, that's your guy. Please investigate the crime scene and gather as many cues as you can clues. And after a period of time, you will be asked to uh, present your findings to me. Believe me, it's in your best interest to put your full effort into this. Have fun, everyone. Everyone. Uh, enough of this already. I don't want any part in this. Stop telling me what to do. Uh, Grace grabbed a large chunk of rock from the floor and ran over to the speaker, screaming in obscenity. <laughs> oh, she being zapped. No way, was that the watch? Trying to destroy his private property. That's a zap. Oh my god. Dang. Is he for real? Is this school really trying to make us solve an old murder? Hold on, you guys. You can't just believe everything this man claims. Uh, why would Eden's Garden Academy, any academy for that matter, do something like this? Even if it tried to, the ultimate talent program would have stopped them. I wouldn't underestimate the school's board executives. Money can get to people's heads and make them take risks they shouldn't. This academy said it was unique. Maybe this is their version of an entrance exam. What a joke. They're so obsessed with being different from the com competition, they've for forgotten what people want. More like they've forgotten how to what be sane. Uh, would the UTP really be okay with this? About it this? Seems way. pretty counterintuitive. Everyone will want to quit their enrollment after uh, this. And Sue. If this is the work of the separate group, why are they using the Academy's uh, name? And they might have even kidnapped us because we're attending Eden, Eden Gardens Academy. So, explain. Mm -hmm. Well, what if they knew we all had to board the train? It would explain why we passed out. They boarded the train before us and planted the bag with There's the gas. Be because this happened on the train to the Academy, they could claim they are the Academy. Everyone keeps saying they. Isn't it the speaker man who kidnapped That's us? Not it uh, it's obviously wasn't just him. Seizing a train bringing 16 people. Yeah, obviously it would take a lot of people. Why us? Because you're the ultimate, of course. They have a grandmaster plan. I think I, I will let the rest of you handle this. I doubt I'm needed in this grotesque situation. I'll just be on my way. Yeah, that's okay. Actually, can I come with? I feel super bad leaving you alone. Oh, I suppose. You can do it. Well, it's weird. Okay, but they, 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 you know, it's fine. No one's a suspect here yet. It's obviously fake. Good luck solving the mystery, everyone. I know you can do it. On that note, they left. Oh, uh. Uh, don't get close. I'm going with them. Screw this. Okay. I don't know. Uh, will will that man really let us go if we investigate? We won't know if we continue standing around like this. For uh, now, all we can do is take the risk and do as he says. All right, let's do it. Investigation start. That was sick. 
Before I do anything else, I should go back over that tablet. The victim is Kara Kosakin, the ultimate teacher's aide. She was stabbed in the torso 28 times. The victim also suffered chemical burns to the head. The most notable burns are her eyes and scalp. Cause of death is blood loss. The time of death is unknown. Yeah, we know. So, okay, we got a, we got a bullet. We got bullets. It's cool. Okay, guys. I hate to end it here because I do want to keep going, but I really need to get off. <laughs> I did record for about two hours. Assuming this goes all the way to the trial, we will do a second episode. And yeah, guys, I hope you do subscribe to the new channel. I'm really excited to be having a place where we can all just play uh, these freaking anime type games uh, together. Because really, that's what I like to do. I really like to do it and I don't want to worry about, you know, how good my channel is doing. So that's why I wanted to create this channel. But really, I just gotta say, Project Eden's Garden team, you guys have killed it. Like, seriously, like, this is, this is really crazy. Like, I'm convinced you, that, that you have people on the team that have definitely worked on games before. Like, cause it's just all so well put together so far. The fact that you've recreated the essence of Dangarapa so perfectly, with it like it's just perfect look at this so yeah i will link the itch.io page down below and all the other pages go uh follow the game it's it's free to play they're not making any money off of it which is like very like commendable and respectable and um yeah i can't wait to see what what's gonna be more in this game so yeah stay tuned for episode two it'll come out soon all right guys i'll see you scrubs in the next one bye now well it's a new channel i need another outro we'll figure it out